for every bible student and bible scholar there are some verses in the bible which are really confusing and you know a lot of debates are going on in the christendom and i have even come across some literature some resources some books dealing with the bible difficulties and contradictions today i'll show you one such verse first john chapter 5 and verse number 18 it reads we know that anyone born of god does not continue to sin the one who was born of god does keeps them safe and the evil one cannot harm them very exciting verse so apostle john writes anyone born of god does not continue to sin so when we read this in the, the 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 first impression is that anyone born of god cannot commit sin apostle john is not saying that apostle john is not advocating sinless perfection a child of god can have on earth that is incorrect none of us can have can attain a sinless perfection but he says anyone born of god does not continue to sin because that is not his nature now something that is really exciting when i received this revelation i was so excited according to the bible romans chapter 6 paul clearly says that the sin nature in us the adamic nature in us in some translations the old man was crucified along with Christ 2000 years ago when jesus was crucified historically my old nature my sin nature my adamic nature was crucified in other words the old man passed away second corinthians chapter 5 verse number 17 a man in christ is a new creation and uh, the old has passed the way the new has come this is about the new creation that happened in our human spirit our human spirit is now a new creation created in the, in the image our human spirit is now a um, new creation that has been created or recreated in the image and likeness of the son of god christ jesus so in the spirit we don't have even a molecule of sin nature it is a new creation it is just like jesus but then the question is why do believers still commit sin they are tempted and uh, still they fall into many shortcomings many sins and uh, they they still have many weaknesses and they transgress why that is a huge question the answer is that we are still living in a body and we still have a soul that carries the uh, residual effect of the old man the adamic nature because only the spirit is saved only the spirit is new creation the soul is not a new creation the body is not a new creation we are going through a sanctification process our justification is over positionally we are holy along with christ but there is something called practical holiness and for that practical personal holiness we have to go through uh, what we call theologically uh, a sanctification process and we are going to the glorification the glory when we reach that position of glorification our soul our body of course our spirit everything will be perfect then we will be sinlessly perfect so the question is this why do believers sin i will give you four reasons number one 
because the believers believe that the old sinful nature the adamic nature the old man is still alive in them they are made to believe like that many believers are deceived by the teachings wrong teachings or false teachings and the 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 one who is orchestrating that is the devil and they think that it has not completely gone from the spirit being i mean the sin nature secondly the believers uh do commit sin because they live in the body and soul that are not yet saved as i told you before thirdly because the believers are not aware of the consequences of sins that means they are not really aware of uh the fact that if they sin they will the, the devil will get an inroad into their life to do all the havoc so they don't give that seriousness to the sin fourthly because they don't renew their minds maybe the greatest i mean the toughest project of a child of god is the renewal of the mind everything else may be easy but the renewal of the mind will take lifetime we need deliberate willful effort to renew the mind uninstall the old programming and reinstall or install a new programming most of the times the believers are living according to the world system but they have to switch over to the world system today i really want to pray for you so that you will capture this revelation so that you can escape from the trap of the enemy right now for the right pray everyone who is listening to this short message should have the revelation and understanding that they don't carry the sin nature still in them in their spirits but the run and the residual effect in their flesh i mean in their body and in their uh, in their soul will vanish one day thank you jesus thank you for this revelation bless everyone to attain that position and status father in jesus name amen thank you so much for watching today's video uh, if you don't mind just subscribe to damian anthony youtube channel so that you will not miss any content that i'll be uploading